This lesson is about JSX. What is JSX? JSX is a syntax extension to JavaScript that describe what the UI should like in React. A JSX may remind you of a template languages, but it comes with the full power of JavaScript, so you can produce React element with JSX. Let's see JSX in action. Create a pen in codepen.io and config the JS part with Babel preprocessor and add React and React DOM to it. Make HTML and CSS part close, but in the HTML part, put a dive with idea root like previous lesson and inside the JS6 use react dom.render here we want to write our first JS6 code it's like HTML as you see is h1 tag And the second parameter is the container root. <clears throat> we rendered a JSX code to HTML element. So this part is HTML. This part is JSX. Uh, why do we need JSX? Why uh, do we use JSX in React? Uh, as you know, rendering logic is inherently coupled with other UI logic, like how events are handled, how the state changes over the time, and how the data is prepared for display. React does not separate markup and logic while it just separates the loosely coupled unit called component. So each component has a markup and a logic. You can embed expression in JS6. Let's see how it works. We can assign a JSX code to a constant like this. Also, we can define another constant like this and use this constant inside JSX code with curly bracket. As you see, this part, we can use hello, which is a JSX code inside the render function like as a variable. And inside the hello variable, we used a JavaScript constant name and with curly bracket, the value of this constant will be rendered in the output. As you saw in previous sample, JSX is an expression too. After compilation, after compilation, JSX expression become regular JavaScript function call and evaluate to JavaScript object. So you can use if or for to evaluate JSX code 
or return a JSX code based on a, a specific condition. Let's see this in action. For example, we define a variable married and we create a condition here if married let's see create a function show is married which accepts a parameter and inside the married function if married we return this j6 code dive he is married and the else part we return another J6 code. He is single. We use TDJS to make code clean. Great. We can use the married here married function with parameter true as you see he is married and convert the parameter to false it changes to he is single so as you see a JSX code is exactly like a JavaScript expression <coughs> and you can treat it like a <coughs> JS expression. You can specify attributes with JSX. You can use code to specify a string literal as an attribute. For example, you can define a constant like input and define a input with tab index 0 or you can specify attributes with JavaScript expression like this username is a dive which its style is an expression with name So the style of this dive, which is an attribute, the value of this attribute is a JavaScript variable John. So if we define, sorry, class name, can define the CSS class name uh, with John and here we define John in CSS color green and with rendering this value
as you see the username will be green so we can use attribute like tab index class name or custom attributes in JSX and it will works like a charm you can also specify children with JSX if a JSX tag is empty you can immediately use a slash or if it it contain children you can use children like HTML code one of the most benefits of using JSX uh, is uh, high security in preventing injection attacks imagine in this sample you've got a response from user which may contain uh, malicious scripts J uh, JSX converts this value into a string so there is no way to run the script inside your application so it helps prevent X as as attacks in the last slide in this lesson you see JSX represents objects Babel is a transpiler which convert ES6 code to ES5 and it compiles JSX down to react.create element calls as you see this JSX code will be converted through Babel transpiler to this code react.createElement which has multiple parameter like h1 which is this tag the class name will be greeting as you see inside the attribute and the children which is hello world react convert this code to this one as you see is a plain javascript object which has some attributes like type and probes which probes is class name and children in this sample very good in this lesson we've talked about jsx which is a complex of javascript and html and uh, react uses j6 to convert it to react element and render it into the document object model very good in next lessons we talk about state probes and other stuff in react have fun